Okay, I've been slowly working on the Teddy and uh, Shelbyville Railroad. A little scenery here and there. My latest addition has been a uh, water tower. This came from uh, Walther's. I'll show you how we uh, built the uh, little fence around it. Named it for the uh, railroad, Teddy and Shelbyville. Name of uh, two dogs I've got. I'll also show you uh, when I have uh, the lights turned off. I've got a uh, small red light at the top so uh, airplanes won't crash into it. And show you what we did to... Uh, well, the first thing to do is to uh, get this out of the box to give it a uh, looking over. When they uh, put these together, the have a mold with two parts and a lot of times you get uh, marks where the uh, pieces are joined together here on the back side uh, probably won't show on the camera we got uh, just a little notch where maybe the uh, plastic didn't flow all the way through so we got a little minus D form what I'll take is uh, little sanding stick. I went down to uh, Walmart in my case and got a bunch of these uh, Revlon Emery boards. Nice thing about that, uh, you've got a uh, coarse side and then a very fine side. So uh, check this out for any uh, forms and just uh, knock down the high spots sand that nice and smooth a couple of the places I'll work on over here now like uh, the low spot to fill that in I like to use a little bit of a uh, glazing and spot putty Just uh, take a uh, piece of scrap plastic or whatever you have. Fill in that uh, low spot. Get that nice and smooth. Once that dries, come through and sand it. So while we let this dry, uh, we'll come back in a little bit. I'll finish uh, doing some of my uh, minor sanding along the edges and we'll have it ready to primer up and paint. All right, uh, just some light sanding. A little filler in a couple spots that were uh, low. So once we got everything cleaned up pretty good, uh, we we'll go ahead and uh, put a little bit of primer on that. And we'll check it out, make sure everything is uh, still looking pretty good. Be right back. Okay, we've got the uh, water tower painted. I went with uh, silver. There's a uh, water tank not too far from me, uh, town nearby. Their tank is painted silver. I'll do a silver tank similar to theirs. Before I give this a little bit to dry, and give it a little more time to uh, make sure it's totally dry. That will give me a chance to do the uh, base. And for the base, uh, I've gotten some uh, Fencing. This came from uh, Bar Mills. A little Insta fence. But you can use. Uh, I know Model Power makes a uh, plastic fence. We'll paint that up. I've got uh, a base. 
And what I did, I uh, drilled a series of holes. And I've got a larger hole here in case I want to uh, add a uh, light to the uh, tank, a little blinking aircraft light. The little holes here, I'm going to use uh, some flathead nails, little wire nails. And I'm going to use those as the uh, fence posts. After I uh, get this stuff painted, I'll be able to take a nail, super glue the uh, head, but because the uh, nails have a flat bottom, when this uh, super glue dries, then they'll stand upright to uh, give me a fence post. I still have the point here, I may trim that down, but uh, the height of the fence, the uh, points will not be sticking up. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll paint all this and then uh, mount our uh, posts in. Okay, I got my uh, base painted and I just used a primer. Dirtied it up a little bit with a uh, little bit of uh, soil just to take a little bit of the gray out of it. Got the fence painted so uh, let's go ahead and we'll put in our uh, wire nails for the uh, fence post. Like I said, these have a uh, nice flat head so I can uh, take a little bit of super glue and I'll put a dot at each hole and then go ahead and put each nail in and that flat head when I get done we'll set it upright and all the posts will uh, stand straight up so we'll go ahead and get these in got a piece of uh, plastic down so that I won't glue it to the table you see where the uh, heads are uh, sitting pretty flat you do a uh, two or three holes at a time. Try not to glue yourself to it. Oops. Two more. And what we'll do, we'll just set that down. You see where our posts are standing pretty much straight up. Add a little bit of weight. And we'll let these uh, dry. Then we'll come back and uh, install our fence. Okay, I've let my super glue uh, dry for about a half hour. Still a little bit tacky. It wants to uh, stick to my plastic. At least I'm not sticking to the table. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start on the uh, fencing. Like I said, this was uh, done by Bar Mills. And it's a uh, laser cut, very thin wood stock. I painted white and I didn't paint real heavy because laser cutting uh, will leave burn marks and I thought well the, if I don't totally cover them up then that would uh, show a little bit of shadow detail so 
I didn't do a total painting, but enough to uh, make it look white. And a little bit of super glue. On my uh, nails, the uh, fence post. This stuff is very thin, so you have to handle it very gently. Try to center it up. I'll leave a little overhang here because I'll have a piece on the front. And then just uh, go around and glue the additional pieces. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side, and that way the back edge I can trim to fit. And same with the front. Yeah, this little piece here, I'm going to use it as a gate. I'm 
No better glue there. A little dental pick comes in handy. Leave that open. Won't open it up too much. That way I still have uh, the base to protect it. spots here. We'll add some weight. Looks like it wants to bow a little bit in the center. And we'll let that dry. Okay, we got our uh, base done. Uh, Add a little figurine, a little maintenance guy to uh, keep the facilities running. The next part of this is the uh, lighting system. And for that what I did was uh, put in a uh, piece of fiber optic, ran it through a small hole I drilled at the top. And that comes down to a flashing red LED. And what I did drilled a uh, small hole went about halfway down. You don't want to go all the way down into the LED or it'll be uh, ruined. So just halfway glued it in. I put in a little holder just to uh, keep it neat. I went with the uh, fiber optic because uh, I don't have a uh, small enough LED. See if we can, but leave just enough light. You can see it, but also uh, won't be lighting up the layout with the flashing red light. So it'll just be viewable from the top overhead. The only thing left now is uh, just to thread this through the base and then mount it up to the uh, layout.